A growing crisis is hitting communities across the United Kingdom as one in eight bank branches is set to close by the end of this year. With more than half of the network disappearing since 2015, the impact is being felt nationwide. Well, to put this into perspective, a total of 636 bank branches are due to close by the end of this year, with 424 already shut down and an additional 42 announced for closure in 2024. This wave of closures represents almost three-fifths of the network disappearing since 2015 when data tracking began. The rate of closures has accelerated in recent years, influenced by the increased adoption of digital banking and further fueled by the effects of the pandemic. The consequences of these closures are significant. Consumer group estimates that after this year's closures, there will be just over 4,000 bank branches left across the UK. This means that a staggering 5,600 branches have closed since January of 2015. Now what's more, it's not just rural areas being affected. Larger towns that support their surrounding regions are also losing their branches. These closures have raised concerns about access to face-to-face -face banking services, especially for more vulnerable customers who rely on physical cash for their financial needs. Now, efforts have been made to address this issue. In August, the government set limits on how far people should have to travel to access cash services. With the threat of fines for banks that fail to ensure that 95% of their retail customers and businesses are within three miles of facilities for making deposits and withdrawals. Collaboration between the post office and lenders has resulted in the establishment of bank hub hubs in communities without branches. But the rollout has been slow, with only a fraction of announced hubs currently open. Now, despite the shift towards digital payment, cash still plays a vital role, especially for financially disadvantaged individuals who rely on it for budgeting. The challenge now is finding a balance between modern banking methods and preserving access to cash for all members of society.